what's up you guys i'm back with another video and yes i know it's been a week since i posted but i recently went to oklahoma um like i do every single year and i didn't have time to post so but i am going to be doing a oklahoma haul once this video comes out but i kind of wanted to do a makeup tutorial today because i post on my tiktok if you don't have me on TikTok, there's that right there. Go follow me on TikTok, quality content there. And I do a lot of, I look masculine. Like, I do a lot of masculine makeups. And today, I thought, okay, how about we do one, um, uh, that exact thing. Show you how I do my masculine makeup. Um, yeah, so... Let's get started. And, and, I know some of you guys do not like these kind of tutorials. Or are not really into makeup or whatever. But that's okay because I'll be posting a couple more videos that you might, guys might like. So anyway, let's get started. Voice over Nadia. So first things first is we're going to start off with the Master Prime by um, Maybelline. It was $7 at Walmart. And as you can see, I'm just putting dots on my face. And then I'm going to be rubbing it in my face. Because this is a hydrating mask and usually the one that I, the foundation I have, dries my skin out. So that's best for me. Then I have the uh, Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Makeup. It has, um, it was one dollar, and I got it at a Bent and Dent, and it's perfect for my skin tone because every time I went to the Bent and Dent, there was like no, uh, no skin bright skin tone. And as you can see, I'm also doing the same thing, but with my damp beauty blender, and I'm blending it into my face. And then as soon as you realize, I needed a light to see better, so I took my flashlight from my phone, so I can see better and blend it out a little bit more. So. And I'm doing the same thing again, just blending it out to my neck so it looks more natural and Realistic, I guess you could say. Then I go in with the bronzer by Wet n Wild. Um, I got this for two dollars at Family Dollar. Now, as you can see, most of my makeups I have they're cheap. And then I have this contour brush by Trend, it's my favorite, because I can actually get into the creases of my, yeah, chin. So what I'm doing is I'm sucking my uh, cheeks in so, so that I can be able to make my chin look more square and look more masculine, I can say. And then what's easier is what I do later on is I open my mouth really wide and then I go straight up and down for vertical, like vertical. Then I blend it out, which is what I'm doing right now and for the next several minutes. Because I'm trying to blend it out to make it look more natural. And now I'm going in through the bottom of my chin to... Uh, connect it all so it looks better and I'm going over with the bronzer to make it more potent but still make it look natural trying to make the sides look the same and me being a dork you will see that a lot throughout this video singing copyrighted music yep like
like I said, I open my mouth and I go straight up and down. So it's easier for me to get that square draw line. And I blend it out. And I'm absolutely a dork because when I showed you guys the eyebrow kit I got, I put it upside down so you can't read it, but it's LA Colors and I got it in a kit for $7, also at Family Dollar, hashtag not spots. And I'm taking the darker shade, the brownish shade, and I'm using it to thicken up my eyebrows and to make it more darker, as you will see in a little bit. I'm kind of just brushing it along with the rest of like the wave of my hair. So I'm going with the flow and I'm fixing up some of the mistakes when I went outside of the brow area. And now I'm taking the thin part of the brush and I'm kind of just going in and getting the narrow part of the eyebrow. And then I'm taking the same color and I'm kind of flicking the brush up so it looks like some hair is pointing up because there's some hair that points up and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing I did with the first brow on the second brow. See when I go through with the thinner part I'm getting the thinner part of the eyebrow thinner part of the brush the thinner part of the eyebrow and then I mess up and then what I do is I'm trying to fix it and then I'm taking this some of the foundation and I'm fixing up the areas like around the eyebrows, around the cheeks, to make it look more realistic and natural. You guys, that's about do it. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm actually kind of digging this. But anyway, that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash that like button. Oh my god. Hold on, we need something. Oh my god, wow. Look at the difference, you guys. There's not that much of a difference. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys want me to do more makeup tutorials or whatever, stuff like that, uh, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want s or enjoying my content, then give a smash that red subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. And I forgot to mention in my video, yes, I have all my makeup off. Because I went and did a bunch of TikToks with the makeup. And then I decided to take it off. But anyway, not the point. I am going to be doing a vlog video. Because in about... On the 10th, I am going to Washington to see my best friend, and I'm going to be doing a vlog series about that and with my best friend. So, I forgot to mention that. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!